Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you today? Very good. So, 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 why? Mucho calor. It's hot. <laughs> it is. <sighs> okay. Wow. But this is the the changes that we have in our country, right? Sometimes it's really hot and sometimes <clears throat> it's like uh yes. Yes, we have uh, different temperatures. Okay, good. Um good evening everyone. So today we're going to start the class number mm -hmm. number seven. Yeah, it's number seven today. So today is Thursday, uh, January 26, 2023 or 2023. So the agenda for today, we have a lesson objectives. We're going to continue talking about jobs. We're going to make a review about placement of adjectives. Uh, and then we're going to practice, okay? We're going to have a conversation about different questions and answers. The, at the end of this class, you will be able to talk about jobs and also describe jobs using the different objectives, okay? Good. So the first activity that I have for you, it is related to positive and negative objectives to describe a job. Okay, let me play that video. Well, it's not a video. It is um, it is like a game. So you are going to tell me what are the positive and what are the negative adjectives that we have to describe jobs. Okay. For example, Maria Delmi, give me one positive adjective. Oh, uh, regarding. The ones that you can see here that are positive and negative. Give me one positive. Regarding. Re, regarding. Re, oh. Okay. Will be this one. Regarding. Mm. Okay. Good. And what is the meaning of that one? What is the significado? Mm. I forgot. Rewarding. Rewarding. Like recompensa. Mm -hmm. Like you receive a, a la recompensa, like giving a reward. Okay. That you, you feel satisfied with that. Okay, good. Luisa, give me one negative. Negative, badly paid. Okay. Badly paid. Okay. Mention one profession that is badly paid. Es, ajá, como yo, mal pagada. <laughs> no, give me a different profession. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a security guard, right? Okay, good. Um, Francisco, give me one positive. Creative. Creative. Okay. Creative. Okay. Give me a profession that uh, needs to be, that the person needs to be created. Mm. Uh -huh. Architect. The, the artist. Artist, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Architect. Architect, yes. Good. Okay. Um, Norma Leticia, give me one negative. Uh, 
Ay, ahí sí, teacher, es que solo estoy viendo las positivas. Aquí tenemos varios negativos. Sí, ¿Ah? sí, como no sé qué dicen, estoy, ahorita estoy con miedo. Ok, for example, dangerous. Do you think that mm. would be negative? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give Thank me you. one profession that is dangerous. The The fire uh -huh. The fire yes, it is dangerous. The policeman. Policeman, yes. Police officer, yes. What else? Um, the boulder. Sorry? Boulder. Builder, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, Marina, give me one positive. Mm -hmm. No le escucho. Creo que está en mute. No. Ok. Luego uh, le pregunto, arregle su micrófono, tal vez se le funciona. Ok, Stephanie, give me one positive. Interesting. Interesting, yes. Ok. Give me one profession that is interesting. Mm. Pilot. Pilot. Okay. Good. Scientist. El científico. Scientist. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, doctor. Doctor. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, Natalie, give me one negative. Tiding. Mm -hmm. Tiding. Yes. Give me one profession or occupation that is tiring. Uh huh. Uh, the drivers drive drivers. a bus. Mm -hmm. If they drive a bus all day, yes. I don't know how they do it, but yes, it is really tired. Okay, good. Uh, Francisco Valdomar, give me one positive. Um, one more. Well, well pay? Or which one? Ya dije uno, pero por mí no hay problema. No, mencion, eh, dígalo otra vez, que no le escucha bien. Eh, ya dije uno, le digo, pero puedo decir otro, no hay problema. Ah, sorry. Ajá. Okay, si se llama. Eh, eh, okay. Digamos, este. Okay. Save. Save. Okay, good. Okay, one profession that is safe. Excuse me. One profession or occupation that is safe. Teacher. Okay, a teacher, yes. Good. Yeah. Carlos Ramirez, give me one uh, negative. Carlos Ramirez. Very, very. Um, Good evening, yes. Negative, positive. Boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. Okay. What profession or occupation that is boring? Uh-huh. 
engineer, engineer, okay, architect, Ar architect. Okay. Miss boring is pe un perforando, ¿verdad? Aburrido. No, boring is aburrido. Aburrido. Ah. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí, ahí depende cómo usted lo vea, cómo vea el tipo de trabajo. <laughs> maybe for some people it's not boring, maybe for all for, for others is is boring. Okay. Uh, Blanca Yesenia, give me one. Uh, Positive. Um, glamorous. Okay, glamorous. Good. Which profession or occupation is glamorous? Well, I mean, uh, artist. Uh, no, hire. Uh, hire style. No, the uh, cosmetologa. Uh, Our dresses. Uh, Hairdresser? Uh -huh. Okay. What or else? Hairstyling. Or hairstyling. Okay. Sí. ¿Qué otro sería gl glamorous? Um, el de la hermosa, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, modelo, no sé cómo se dice. No sé si es modelo. Hola, Miss. Sí, sí, Model. Me Model. Model. Yes. Yes. Modelo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Model. Model. Model, uh -huh. O oh, Miss Universe. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. What about, okay, give me one negative, Franklin. Restful. And door. Mm -hmm. Dull. Dull. Okay. That is negative. <laughs> what is the meaning of dull? Uh huh. Do you know the meaning? ¿Saben el significado? Está aburrido también. Ah, uh -huh. it is like a boring. Uh huh. Give me one profession of 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 that is dull. Um. Uh, como contador. Accounting. Accounting. Okay. Yo soy accounting. Okay. <laughs> My husband también. Escucha. Yes, Marina, we can. We, we, Al we, fin, we, we, gracias. Okay. Okay, give me one positive, Marina. Okay. Um, educational. Educational, okay. Give me one profession that is educational. A teacher. Yes, good. Very good. Okay. Carlos. Herbert, Miranda, are you there? Herbert? Yes. Okay. Give me one positive. Positive. Um, exciting. Exciting. Okay, exciting. give me one profession that is exciting. Uh, it may be salesman. Salesman? Salesman, yes. Okay. Es eso, mi? Salesman? Someone that's a uh, sell <inaudible> in, a, in a store. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ana Iris, give me one. Give me one. Adjective, positive, or negative? Eh, excuse me. Acabo de entrar a la llamada, Miss. Este, tuve un contratiempo. Eh, ahorita estoy tratando de entender eh, de qué están hablando. Okay. We are describing, uh, well, we are um, categorizing positive or negative adjectives. And then we mention one job one profession okay or occupation that is that is described with that adjective we're going to continue maybe now the other activity you can participate okay ingrid magdalena give me one of the one that are here 
Ingrid Magdalena. Good evening. Sería negative, sería stressful. Stressful, okay. Hay one profession that is stressful. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Un sector positivo. Stress, stressful. No, that is negative. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it is negative. Uh, I made a mistake. Okay. What about well pay? That is positive or negative? Positive. 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 Okay, a profession that is well pay. Mimi, an actor. Actor? Mm -hmm. Actress. Actress. Singer. Singer, okay. Good. A doctor. Doctor. Maybe maybe in El Salvador is no well paid, but in another country, yes. And the okay. Salvador is called center. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what about worthwhile? Worthwhile. Worthwhile. What is the means of that? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning? It is important, right? Mm -hmm. Good, important. Okay, but it will be positive. Okay, give me one profession that, that can be described with this adjective. A doctor. President. President, okay. A doctor, okay. Good. Okay, did you learn new adjectives here? Yes. Okay, tell me the ones that are new, new for you. Worthwhile. Worthwhile, okay. Worthwhile. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Worthwhile. 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 Again, reward, reward, rewarding. Mm -hmm. rewarding. Rewarding. Okay, That's good. Take note because you are going to use these adjectives to describe mm -hmm. jobs, okay? Tomen nota. Ready? Ya la puedo quitar? Yes? Okay. Okay, review about uh, the placement of adjectives. Okay, we're going to make a review. I'm going to play the video that we have in the platform because I cannot play videos from YouTube, but yes, I can play this video. Uh, there you will have an explanation. Um, if you have questions, please let me know at the end, okay? Let me play. You will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or N, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. 
So in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be. In this case, it's is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article A. Then we will have the profession firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work. Okay, here. Someone told me yesterday that has doubts, okay? How to use the adjective or how to place the adjective in a sentence. ¿Quién fue la persona que me dijo? Una, hubo una personita que me dijo que tenía, que tenía dudas. Is here? ¿Está aquí esa persona? Una compañera, pero no recuerdo el nombre. Ajá, no recuerdo uh, tampoco quién fue. Creo que lo anoté. Déjenme ver. Pero de ustedes, ¿quién tiene, tiene preguntas? dudas acerca de cómo usar los adjetivos en una oración. Ajá. Nadie? Is it clear? With that explanation, is clear for you how to change how to use B plus adjective and then adjective plus noun? Yes, miss. Okay. So if that is good, we're going to move on to the next, next activity, okay? <clears throat> okay, eso ya lo explicaba ayer, okay? Um, Tenemos unos ejercicios de práctica. Ok. A photographer has a difficult job. Si lo queremos cambiar con el verbo to be, así como están los ejemplos, ¿cómo sería? 
a photographer is a difficult <coughs> job. Are you sure? Photographer. Oh, it's. Joe, Joe, it's. Joe, it's. Joe, it's. It's Joe. It's. A difficult. Difficult. It's difficult. Difficult. Okay. Remember, right? Here will be the uh the, the profession apostrophe, mm. then job, and then verb to be, and then the adjective. Yes. Okay. Okay. What about the second one? If we can, if 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 we change the the sentence using adjective plus noun. <laughs> And And that's it. Exciting. Good. What about number three? I love. Love year. A lot year. Uh huh. Uh -huh. A stressful job. Uh -huh. Has. Stressful. Uh -huh. Has. A stressful job. Okay. Good. What about number four? A security, security guard has a has security, uh, security guard security has security guard 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 is guard job has job is a boring boring job is a boring okay good Number four. Uh, music has some job. It's very exciting. That's very exciting. Very exciting job. It's a very exciting job. Good. Number six, mm -hmm. a police. Officer a has a dangerous a job. A police officer is dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Yes. Very good. That is a way that you are going to sweep that you are going to change the sentences, okay? That is B plus adjective or adjective plus noun. Okay, good. So now we are going to read uh, this Joe profile. Let me see if I have the listening. Yes, I, I, I guess I have it. Okay, I'm going to play the listening about these job profiles and then we're going to read them, okay? Then we're going to discuss the information that is there. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading, job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. 
Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Good. Very good. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll that develop... Is, that is uh, for you to pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Because now you are going to read that, and I, I want that you have a good pronunciation. Who wants to read about Lisa Parker? Okay, Maria Delvi, go ahead. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She wore has a white, white dress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays in television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot. But she is following her dream. Good. There are new words for you in that in that reading. Do you have new words? Mm. Oh. Schedule. Repeat that. Schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Schedule. No, no new words here? No hay nuevas palabras, ¿no? Following. Following. Seguir sus sueños. During the day. During the day. Durante el día. día. Que es guay. Eh. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, dicho. Auditions. 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 Special. 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 Mm -hmm. Special. Like a horario, right? So horario is difficult. It's difficult. Special. Special. Okay. Who uh, wants to read? Tired. Oh, tired? Tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. Is cansada. Huh? Tired. Yes, because she has two jobs. Uh, the first one is white priest, right? No, that is at night. The, during the day, um, she is an actress, so that is why it's, it's really hard because she has two jobs. Okay, good. Okay, Marina, you will read uh, about John's Blue. Okay. Lot of teenagers want jo John's Blue's job. He played video game for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video gamer tester for a big video game company. It is, it is ever, ever boring? Never. John almost always win. Okay, very good. Good pronunciation. Do you have new words there in that paragraph? Teenager, él es, él es un... Teenager, un adolescente. Yes. Un adolescente. You play video game. It is tester. Video, is a video game tester. Video game tester, ajá, los que están probando los video games. Uh huh. What else? She, oh, she, he almost always wins. Se que casi gana siempre. 
Siempre gana. Ajá. Ok. Good. We're going to continue. Who wants to read about Becky Peck? Norma? Yes. Go Becky. ahead. Okay. Wall in the park every day. For many old rain or shine, Becky is a professional dog. Walker she wall dog. For for other people, some sometimes she she take twenty dog to the park at on why on, uh, on one, time a uh, one, one time on time one yes. time. Try to okay. pronounce the letter S, okay? Walkie. Uh -huh. No le escuché que pronunciara la letra S en algunas palabras. Por ejemplo, aquí, takes, takes, dogs, dogs, oh, sí, sí, solo dog, dijo dogs. Uh -huh. Try to pronounce the, the, the sounds, dogs. okay? Who okay. wants to read this again? Someone who wants to read it again? Uh, ¿Otra persona que quiera leer el mismo párrafo? Okay. Yo me... Okay, Stephanie. Becky Peek walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain on shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she, ta she takes uh, 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay. Very good. New words that you may have here? Las palabras? Walks. Caminar. Yes, that is chine. Caminar. Chine. Rain or chine, okay? Este eh, lloviendo o soleado. soleado. Uh -huh. Este se quedó Paseadora de perros. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Ana Iris, read about Carlos. Carlos Ruiz. Pintín. Eh, ¿Cuál párrafo, Miss? Carlos, about Carlos Ruiz. Okay. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, reads homework, help with other school activity, and, uh, and of course, he teaches. Uh, his salary isn't great, but that's okay. He's a student like his class, so he's happy. Thank you, Anna. Okay, again, please pay attention to the pronunciation of the letter S, okay? Helps here, okay? Activities, okay? Rural, okay? In this case, because it's uh, third person, but uh, here it because it's plural, okay? But try to emphasize that sound. At the beginning, I know that it's difficult, but try to pronounce the sound, okay? When you have a verb or noun that has that sound. Someone else who wants to read it? Alguien más si quiere leer el mismo párrafo? Yo, teacher. Blanca Yesenia? Yes. Go ahead. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Busy? Busy, busy man, a busy man. He, he plans relation, writes homework, help, helps white after school activities. And of course, he teacher, his salary 
it, it's not great. But I think, okay, I, his student like, like his class, so he's happy. Okay, thank you, Blanca Yoselia. Um, yes, teacher. Someone else who wants to read it? Okay. Pay attention, yes. Blanca, okay? Yes. Carlos Ruiz? Yes, Carlos Ruiz. Okay. <laughs> Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lesson grades, homework, help with after school activities. And of course, he teaches his salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, good, very good. Helps, okay. Helps. Yes, good. Do you have new words here? Tienen nuevas palabras? No? I guess all of them are basic, okay. So we have questions about these readings. After reading, who says these sentences? Uh, Lisa, okay, number one, after I win, I take a break. Who, who may said that? ¿Quién lo puede decir de los cuatro? John. John, John right? John. Okay. Uh, I don't usually work in the summer. Who can say that? Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, okay. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, right. And after work, my my feet and arms are tired. Vicky Walker. Okay, good. Okay. Tiene uh, buena memoria, okay. Good, very good. So now we are going to write a description about a job, but don't write the name of the job, okay? And then you will read it to your class. Your classmate will guess what is the job. For example, I can say, okay, um, this job is very boring. It is dangerous. It is tired. And that person has to work the the whole night. What do you think that will be that that profession? <laughs> okay. So it is boring. It is dangerous. Okay. It is boring. It and is that, dangerous. Uh -huh. And that person works all night. A security guard. Uh, a security guard. Uh -huh. a security or, guard. Or a police. Police officer. Okay. That is one example. Okay. That is the way that you are going to describe okay. the job. But don't say the name. Someone else will guess it. ¿Y si escribimos los mismos? Mm, it doesn't no matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. You have three minutes to describe it. Write it down if you want, and then you can you can um, describe it, and the rest of the class will guess. Reina Isabel, are you there? 
Reina? Sí, teacher. Are you still driving? No, right. Okay. Okay, good. Let me know when you are ready. Mm. I'm ready. Beautiful dog. <laughs> oh. Okay, volunteers, raise your hand if you want to be a volunteer. Okay, Marina, okay. tell me your description. It's a stressful and difficult job. The person working in a clinic and it's a job to help animals. Okay. It's a bet. It's a bet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good description. Okay, Marin. Maria, tell me. Uh-huh. What will be your description? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it's a trustful help people. The people uh it's exhausting, but it's exciting. Okay. Doctor. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, Marina. Very good, very good. Okay, Christian. <coughs> okay. Use micros, microscope, microscope. Uh, it is a dangerous because of the needles. Um, uses blood, uses urine, uh, gloves in your hand, and uh, have a passion. Nope. Scientist. Scientist. <laughs> Gloves in your hand. Science. 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 It is a scientist? Yes. Nope. No. <laughs> it's a microscope. Microscopy. 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 Mm -hmm. Science. A scientist. Scientist. No. <laughs> uh, test for blood. Uh, a scientist. Tester. It's a tester. It's a tester. Blood, 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 tester. Blood, blood tester. Okay. Blood tester, urine tester. Um, that was difficult, yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lab scientist. Laboratorio yeah. clinico. Lab, lab scientist. Microscopy. Okay. Repeat Doctor. that, okay? Microscopy. Okay. Microscopy. Mm -hmm. Microscopy. Use Use a a mask. Mask. Okay. Okay. Good. And in English, how do you say laboratory clinic? Clinica. Lab. You can say lab. 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 
scientist. Worker. Lab worker or lab uh, scientist? No, porque no son científicos. No. No, no son científicos. Like a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Hacen examen. Laboratorista. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Híjole. Estaba difícil. Sí, la, lab inglés. tester, you can say like a lab tester, or if that is especially for blood, so you can say a uh, blood tester. Lab tester. Mm -hmm. También de laboratorio. Yes. Okay. Oh, Good. Reina Isabel. That will be your description. Hi. If it's it is a place. Why a lot of color that heals to uh, bridge it, creo que se dice, <laughs> the lives of many people. <laughs> what says Marina? ¿Qué dijo Marina? <laughs> Sorry? Yes. <laughs> Write a lot, dice que escribe mucho. Ajá. System. What? Una asistente, una planeadora de bodas, a, we, a wedding planner. A wedding planner. No, no, no. No. Repeat, please. Ella lo es, ella lo es, yo me acuerdo. Repeat, it, Reina Repeat Isabel. Ok, no you idea. said writes a lot. Ajá. Only okay. Me. What else? Only it is a place what a lot, a lot of color that helps to bridge it. Creo que así se dice. The life of many people. Of many people. Help a lot of people. Planea fiestas. The wedding planner? planner? No, she said that is no wedding planner. Decorationist. No. <laughs> what is that, Reina? I have an idea. ¿Qué, qué es? Decorationist. Decorationist. Decoradora. Parecido, los puse en el chat, tal vez yo no lo puedo pronunciar bien. Es un lugar. Ah, es un lugar. It's a place with a lot of color that helps to bring them to the life of many people. Okay. Un spa. It's, it, it is a play. Es un lugar con mucho With color. With a lot of color, con ajá, con bastante color. Okay, da. that is the place where that person works, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, interior decorate. El manicomio. Ahí vi un montón de gente <laughs> de colores. It's a uh, florist. Ah, esa decoración es de decorista. Ahí fue. Es una florista. Es una florista. Sí, se rebuscaron. Sí. Y ella es también florista. Flor, florista. Ok. Ok. Ok, Reina Isabel. It was difficult. It was mm. difficult. Ok. Um, Stephanie, what will be your uh, your description? Okay, Miss Anne, easy. <laughs> this occupation is creative, interesting, creative, uh huh, cre cre uh -huh. interesting and glamorous. To use scissors, hair comb, mirror, and other tools. Mm. Stickles. A dressmaker. Mm -hmm. Is it a dressmaker? 
Mm. Oh. ¿Cómo se dice estilista? High stylist or uh, or hair hair uh, dresser. Hair dresser. Hair dresser too. Okay. Good. Okay, very good. So the rest will continue tomorrow, okay? Describing the jobs. And also for tomorrow, uh, we are going to have this activity that we didn't have today, that we're, you're going to ask information about family member or friends, okay? Information about jobs, what does she do, or any, any family member, okay? Tomorrow will be more practice, more speaking. Okay, van a hablar más. Uh, let me take the attendance. Va a pasar lista before you go. Remember that tomorrow we have a uh, normal class. Okay. Um, Alexander Campos. Alexander is not here. <clears throat> Ana Pin Iris Pintin, yes. Ana Present. Ruth. Yes. Ana Ruth. Present teacher. Uh, Andrea Verónica. Present teacher. Beatriz Adriana. Present teacher. Blanca Yesenia. Present teacher. Cindy Pamela. No. Crisia, yes. Presente, Miss. Yes. Dorca, Roxana. Dorca. No. Uh, Francisco Valdomar. Presente, chair. Yes. Franklin Armando. Franklin. Present. Thank you. Gilma Esperanza. Hilma. No. Uh, Herbert Adan. Present. Thank you, Herbert. Ingrid Maudalena. I'm here. Good. Thank you. Jaime Elias. Present. Juan Carlos Ruiz. I'm sorry, Ramirez. Are you here, Juan Carlos? Presente, teacher, presente. Okay, thank you. Carla Roselia. I'm here, teacher. Liliana Giovanna Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Lourdes Maria Mendez. Here, teacher. Thank you, Lourdes. Um, Delmi Hernandez. I'm here. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Ibar Ibarra. No. Uh, Marina. Yes. Um, Marjorie. Present. Thank you, Marjorie. Moises, no, he told me he was uh, not able to to, us, to attend the class today. Uh, Natalie Abigail. Present. Yes, Norma Leticia Garcia. Present. Okay, Olga Lisset. Olga. Present. Okay, Reina Isabel. Present teacher. Okay. Ricardo Antonio. Here, teacher. Okay. And Stephanie Lisette Campos. Here, Miss. Thank you so much. Okay. Good. Thank you so much for your participation and your attendance. Um, okay. For tomorrow, we're going to continue with this activity and also with this activity. Okay. So that will be everything for today. Reina, do you have questions? Tiene preguntas?
¿Tienen preguntas? No, teacher, voy a volver a ver la clase por lo primero que no, no escuché bien. Ah, ok. Good. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas, Francisco? ¿No? No, teacher. No, mis. No question. No questions. Ok. Good. Well, that will be everything for today. Um, see you tomorrow. Ok. Have a good night. Ok. Good night, Miss. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.